Captain's Log USS Farragut on routine patrol near Barnard's Star. We have been studying some unusual asteroids and space gases but the crew appears to be bored. Approaching the system. One freighter in orbit. Call the planet, I station Yoke I believe it is, and ask them if they need anything as long as we are here. Captain, they are requesting a visit. The manager of the station would like to speak with you in person. Very well. Set course for the planet and assume standard orbit. Report on Barnard's star. Barnard's star is an older flare star with a single planet. The planet is very cold and not habitable. A research station, Ice Station Yoke is studying the surface which if warmed could sustain life. Okay assign one security officer and I will beam down when we get there. Assuming orbit around the planet. All is quiet. You are cleared to beam down. Very well. Call the executive officer to the bridge. Welcome Captain Wheaton. You can let your security guard relax if you wish. We have some issues to discuss. Dismissed Ensign. I will come get you when we are done. This is Captain Dale Haskins, captain of the freighter you saw in orbit. He has the main information for you. It's nice to meet you Captain. About a month ago we were forced into a course change to avoid a space storm, and we came close enough to the planet near Sirius to scan the surface which we always do in case of something of interest. What we found is a human colony. You don't mean humanoid? Humans. Correct Captain. Of course your scanners are much more sophisticated than ours. I reported to the Starfleet what we found and we went on our way. That is highly unusual. I will try to get permission to investigate. Now Mr. Ford, did you have something for me? Yes I do. This planet has been warming up. Don't try going outside because you would freeze instantly but it has warmed several degrees. We don't know why. What do you have on the surface in the way of monitoring? A few surface robots. Few can survive the cold. We have to bring them inside periodically even though they have internal heaters. I will bring it up with Starfleet. Maybe we can find something out. Now if that will be all. I will go collect my ensign. Nice meeting you both. Yes we beat back the Klingons. I did my best to stay at my phaser station while smoke swirled around. I am sure that you have many fascinating things to tell your friend ensign, but it is time to go. Hi Winnie I am here to relieve you. Did anything unusual happen while I was down on the surface? Not really, though we have noticed the surface is a little warmer than we thought. We did not find the reason. We discussed that and more down there. There was a fanciful tale about humans living on a planet orbiting Sirius A. Probably too much space ale. Will we investigate? It would be more interesting than what we are doing you know. I will contact Starfleet. You know how that goes. It could be months before they get back to us. Helm, resume our previous course. Ahead warp 1. Captain, incoming message, Admiral Jarvis. On visual. Captain Wheaton, you are to proceed to the Earth to pick up a special passenger. His name is George Hammond of the Dogon tribe. He is waiting at Starfleet headquarters. The Dogon tribe? Who are they? Hammond will fill you in. You will then proceed to the Sirius star system to investigate the human colony that is reported to be there. These tales usually arise from too much space ale or saurian brandy. 
Starfleet Command thinks there may be some truth to this. Proceed as ordered Captain. Jarvis out. Navigator set course for Earth. Helm ahead warp 6. Captain's log. Our somewhat mysterious passenger has finally agreed to meet me in the conference room to discuss the situation. We are two hours away from the Sirius star system. Thank you for hosting me Captain. I suppose that you are confused as to why I am here. Yes I am. What does the Dogon tribe have to do with this star system? Tribal memories. Our traditions say that we were visited by gods we call the Namo in the distant past. Today we translate that to aliens. They were considered to be fish-like or amphibians, depending what elder you talk to. They identified themselves to be from Sirius. That is pretty thin. Starships usually don't carry passengers to stars based on tribal legends. Captain, may I please speak with you out in the hallway? There is no need. I am Lieutenant Commander George Hammond from Starfleet Intelligence. I am also a member of the Dogon tribe. What is your mission aboard my starship, Lieutenant Commander? Two months ago we received a high-level communication from a species claiming to be the Namo. Your orders are to investigate the planet. My orders are to smooth the contact between us and the Namo, should they show up in the Sirius system as they said they would. Now if you will excuse me, I have some administrative tasks to tend to. I did a background check on him, and I didn't like what I saw. He lived the last three years off-world, and there is no record of where he was during those years. Thanks Yeoman. Follow up on that and see what you can find out. Approaching the planet Captain. Commencing the scanning. Standard orbit helm. Tell the executive officer to start getting teams ready. One major land mass, several smaller islands, mostly a water world like Earth but more so. Captain, there appears to be one or more colonies down there, and an industrial facility a ways away from them. Except for the facility, I read no technology. Standard landing parties. Get a close look at that industrial plant. Readings everyone. There is the plant that we detected. This place smells horrible, like sulfur and rotten eggs. No doubt the result of volcanic gases escaping from the borehole. Borehole? What do you mean? This plant is similar to others that utilize the heat of magma to generate electricity. We'll split up. I'll take Heather and investigate the vegetation. You two give this plant the once over. An illogical statement, but I know what you mean.
A small village, late 17th century on Earth. Kitty, get a reading. They are human all right. They, or more likely their ancestors, came from Earth. We don't need to interfere, at least until we know more. We'll look around. Let's try that small building. Come on, Miss E. Look. Ancient books, texts. Authenticating. They are real. All handwritten. Until the invention of the printing press in the Middle Ages that was much of how it was done. Now we need to find out how they got here. There is only one possible explanation. Aliens brought them here a long time ago. There are piles of bones here. It does not make sense. I am afraid it does. I am detecting human DNA on the bones. What is your supposition? It should be clear to you by now. This is not a power plant. It is a meat packing plant. The aliens whoever they are eat human flesh. The smell is from the burning of bodies. Your conclusion sounds illogical but we will look further. Hold it right there humans. You are now prisoners of the Gork Empire. We represent the United Federation of Planets. Your action will have unpleasant consequences for your empire. Also, I am not a human. I am a Vulcan. Nate is correct. When our ship learns that you did this, you will pay. You will follow me to the information extraction chamber. The one with the pointed ears is resistant. We have gotten scant information from the female. Incarcerate them with the other stock. He may be inedible. My scans show that he will probably make for a poor tasting meal. Proceed anyway. We will deal with them later. The female is a prime specimen. Team 1 reports a human colony, roughly 1700s in technological ability. Advise them to avoid unnecessary contact. We are here to study them as if they were aliens. Urgent message from Starfleet. George Hammond of the Dogon tribe has been found murdered. The individual that beamed onto the Farragut is an imposter. Apprehend and imprison him immediately and turn him over to Starfleet as soon as possible. Security alert. Find and arrest George Hammond. This individual is an intruder and is to be confined immediately. Engineering calling. Weapons are offline. Warp drive damaged. Sound battle stations. It appears that we can expect an attack. <laughs> 